Namaste, uh, I am Rudra Kafle. Uh, I am uh, an associate uh, teaching professor of physics uh, at Ulster Polytechnic Institute, uh, uh, popularly known as WPI. Uh, I am also an associate director of WPI Morgan Teaching Learning Center, where I, uh, in that capacity, train the teaching assistants and peer learning assistants. And uh, currently, I am working on a project as a global lab faculty fellow. So my project is interactive multimedia in physics, teaching and learning. Hello, my name is Joanna. I'm a freshman at WPI and I'm majoring in biomedical engineering. I took a physics course with Professor Kafle, um, B term of this year. My name is Nika and I'm a physics student at WPI. I've taken the interactive multimedia course with Professor Kafle two years ago as a student and since then I've been working with him and helping him as a peer learning assistant. Uh, my name is Corey Abraham. I'm a second year mechanical engineering major. Uh, I've taken one class uh, with the active learning and one class without uh, in the physics department. Um, my experience with the active learning was much better than the remote online uh, learning uh, experience. Uh, my name is Gabriel Goldman. I am an aerospace engineering major in the class of 2025. And I had a very positive experience using online um, simulations in active learning environment in our physics classroom. Educational research has shown that um, uh, this active learning, uh, active learning uh, increases student performance in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So uh, what I did is I developed uh, instructional materials based on uh, Fizzlet simulations. So there are a lot of uh, uh, online platforms now. Uh, based on those simulations, some worksheets were designed and uh, students uh, come uh, to the class with their laptops. Uh, actually, uh, it can be done even in cell phones. Like these are highly, you know, uh, flexible, like you can use in cell phones. I really enjoyed the interactive um, simulations that we took part in every single class. At the end of the class, there was a 10 minute period where we would um, basically be watching a simulation that summarized the concepts that we we're learning in class. I really enjoyed, really enjoyed the visuals because they helped me connect physics to the real world. And it also basically brought to life what we were learning. It made it easier to learn. And it was also kind of like a checkpoint uh, to see if I was understanding what we were doing because the, the, the simulations were always on the topics that we were learning that day. So I was able to connect the concept with the visuals and understand if what I was doing made sense and what I was not understanding. They uh, do the simulations. They uh, interact with each other. They interact with computer. Uh, they uh, interact with uh, uh, other friends, in, uh, other classmates in the, around the table. And they are also assisted uh, by pedagogically trained peer learning assistants. The interactive multimedia course is beneficial for the students because it allows them to work in groups and help each other. And it's also beneficial for the TAs because it, the simulations allow the TAs to show these theoretical concepts and explain them with an experiment without actually conducting it, because conducting experiments is hard. And with the simulations, every student has their own experiments on their computers and it allows them to tweak it in certain ways to learn it based on their own ex empirical experience and understand the concepts. From a teaching assistant perspective, uh, the simulations are beneficial because it develops the imaginations, necessary imaginations for student who does not have prior physics experience or knowledge. And this imagination then helps them to later understand the problem, first of all, and then to solve it. From my own experience, I've had a student who had trouble understanding the lecture material. And uh, after uh, engaging with the simulations and after asking me for help, the student finally understood the learned material and why the formulas that were given, for example, were given as they were and why the conce concepts that were taught was taught as they were. In their feedback, they mentioned that uh, they, uh, they understand the physics concepts better uh, in the classes where 
uh, I integrated this interactive multimedia, these simulations, uh, compared to the classes which would, which uh, took uh, in like lecture-based method, like so ordinary classes. There are a few major reasons of why I like the active learning much more than the less interactive uh, remote. Um, when just one of the biggest ones is that it's in person and that the PLAs are there to help you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them to clarify and not miss any of the lecture. Uh, one of the biggest issues for me when I took it remote was if you don't understand something 30 minutes in, you're probably going to miss most of what happens for the rest of the lecture. And when the PLAs are there in person, you can ask them, clarify, and immediately move on. One other impactful factor for me in helping my understanding was the practice and clarification of questions directly after the lecture. Instead of going from a one-hour lecture, waiting a few hours, and then doing the homework, having practice problems and homework directly afterwards so we don't forget any information was very helpful. For me, I've always learned by doing and seeing how things are applied in the real world. And when I get to practice the homework or use simulations, which have been very helpful for me, I understand it a lot better. For me, I felt like physics deals with a lot of theoretical concepts. And so having a visual representation of those theoretical ideas helps you build a model in your head of those concepts that really helps you actually see in your mind's eye what is going on on a much smaller scale or at a kind of invisible scale, like you can't actually see what's happening. And so having animated online experiences that show you how those phenomena actually occur in, in nature and in the physics world, really, it really helped me um, understand at a deeper level what was going on in physics. Right, so currently I am uh, in uh, this Global Lab Faculty Fellowship. So I am uh, trying to uh, like redesign these activities based on some cognitive principles, cognitive theories, like how can we design better. And uh, my uh, ultimate goal is uh, uh, use uh, these instructional materials right, uh, at WPI and beyond WPI. Like particularly I am interested to apply these in developing countries like Nepal, where I did uh, teaching high schools and college teaching for many, many years before I came to the United States.